Hey everyone, today is April 9th, 2021, and today's card of the day is Bug, the aggression ally from the galaxy's most wanted expansion pack. Sorry about yesterday's video, apparently I forgot to turn on my video feed when I was recording, so you guys got more of a podcast with just a black screen of death. Reposted it with the video slides in there if you want to watch it, but instead, today, we're going to talk about Bug, one of the coolest allies in Marvel Champions. So, let's get at it. Bug, tick, right? That's his, like, catchphrase from the comics. He's constantly ticking in the middle of his sentences, and the designers capture that perfectly in his flavor text. Bug is a super minor, unique character from the 2004 Guardians of the Galaxy run. That was the team that sort of existed pre-movies. It was the, the remaking of the Guardians. There was the original team that had... Um, a ton of older characters, and they took place in the future, and they reformed under Star-Lord with the classic team we know, Star-Lord, Gamora, Rocket, Groot, Drax, Moon Dragon. Bug was one of those original characters in that run, and he is amazing in Marvel Champions. We talked about Warlock before, not in this, but on the podcast, um, and I was kind of down on Warlock, a three-cost ally that only has 1-1 one -one stats. That Yeah, you can heal him, but you have to like spend resources on him turn over turn. So eventually you've paid 7 for this ally that's barely removed 7 threat. And it seems extremely lame. Well, I'm here to tell you Bug does everything Warlock does wrong correctly. He does amazing embedded healing in his ally. And he really does it justice. Or, I mean, you know, aggression. So, Bug has 1 port, 1 attack, 2 cost only, and 2 health only. Hero response. After your hero makes a basic attack, heal 1 damage from Bug. Amazing. You want to do basic attacks. You want to be punching the villain. That is your win condition. By punching the villain, you are also healing an ally, which is just something that's going to help you long-term in the game. You're not investing extra resources into him. You're investing in your win condition, which gets you a bonus. So it's not necessarily a win more card. It's a give me bonuses for doing the right things card. And that makes him really great. Tick. All right. So what are some cool combos you can do with Bug? Um, if you were an Avenger, you can still play Bug. He's not trait locked or anything like that. And you could play three honorary Avengers on Bug, getting him up to five HP. If you do that, Bug can soak giant attacks for you. And then over the course of the next couple turns, he could heal back up to full health. And then he could soak a giant attack for you again. If you have anything like reinforced vest from a leadership player or team training from a leadership player, this can get even wonkier, right? So you could get him... With those and three honorary Avengers at plus six HP, so he should have eight health. And he can just tank an attack. If you're a hero that readies a lot, like Captain America or She-Hulk with one-two punch or Quicksilver with his inherent ability, you could heal up that big attack the bug soaked really, really fast. So he combos well with those characters that attack many times per turn or ready many times per turn when using him in this damage soak um, sort of stance. At the same time, you could use Bug in a different way. Um, Beat Cop has been long heralded as this just amazing card in Justice, super power creep, most broken card ever. Well, Bug is basically a Beat Cop that costs one less that also can be used as a chump block in, in a bad situation instead of a minion bomb. And again, this is going to work best with those heroes that are going to attack every turn. So Cap, She-Hulk, Quicksilver, they're probably going to be able to attack, ready, and do something else so they can get that free healing off Bug. But Bug can just sit out there and thwart once around, removing some threat. He is going to take up an ally slot while you do that, so there's a little bit of trade-off there. Beat Cap doesn't take out an ally slot, but Beat Cap also can't block for you at a pinch. So definitely a cool replacement to Beat Cap. Um in the aggression set suit, especially, where we need thwart. I mean, people love Brawn because he does that attack damage and still removes a threat. Bug is a very similar character, um, slightly lower cost, but less blocking potential. So he fits a similar role in that way. All right, so what are some rules, goofs, and strategy tips for Bug? Um, so you have to remember the heals are only on basic attacks. If you play Relentless Assault or Uppercut, that's not a basic attack. It has to be when you're exhausting your hero to use your ATK stat. So performing a basic attack with She-Hulk. Swinging at a minion or villain doesn't matter, um, but you have to exhaust your hero and swing. Low HP means you're going to need some buffs to get the most out of uh, this ally, so you're going to want to be running Honorary Avengers or anything else you can to buff this ally. At the same time, you can still do that beat cap mode without having any buffs. You just play Bug, attack once around, and he thwarts the same round, and you're good as gold. 
So you could use Bug in a ton of ways, right? He can clear tough for you. He can be a tough clearing machine. So he clears tough, then you go in with your basic attack, hopefully a pumped up attack, and really hit the boss or hit the minion dead. Um, he could be a constant thwart, kind of like a beat cop in an aggression deck. And he could do big chumps that heal over time. Um, a lot of the characters that take those big chumping attacks, they take one, then they might take a second one, and they're gone, right? Mockingbird stuns, she thwarts once, she takes a second attack. Bug throughout the game could absorb multiple attacks for you, and depending on the level, um, it could be many, many more. So in the Galaxy's Most Wanted campaign, a lot of people are complaining about the Collector, and it's really hard to keep your allies out because they're constantly getting attacked and I have to kill these minions and then they end up in the collection. Well, Bug is really great against the collector because if you get his health really high, he can absorb a lot of the indirect damage. He can just soak those minion attacks every turn and just by attacking the collector, you'll slowly heal Bug so he can keep those minions on the board and keep himself on the board while providing you a lot of value. So ultimately, you can build a deck that does all of these things. And that's a deck I'm working on right now with Quicksilver. It's actually like a bug ally themed deck. So I have bug, I have wasp, I have spider girl, all the fun, really cheap, uh, you know, insectoid like allies put together with Quicksilver. It'll probably be called like get bu uh, quit bugging me or something on Marvel CDB. And when I do it, hopefully I'll do a playthrough video and show y'all how it works out. So this is my favorite card from Galaxy's Most Wanted, at least of the player cards. And I think next week, we'll have to pick a new theme to go through. I'm thinking about doing something a little different and getting a little villainous. So we might go over five encounter cards, not just player cards in the game. And instead of showing you cards that combo well with them, I will show you cards that help counter them. And we're going to start with villains from the core set. So I'm not going to show any encounter spoiler cards um, from Galaxy's Most Wanted. I want everybody to go experience this new campaign and content for yourself first. So we'll start with cards from Rhino, Claw, and Ultron. But eventually, we'll work ourselves up to Nebula, Ronin, Collector, and all those, those horrible baddies that we have to face off against now. So thanks for sticking with me this week. Some slight technical difficulties. Um, and hopefully those are worked out in today's video and we don't end up with another black screen of doom. All right, have a great weekend, and I will catch you guys all on Monday.